Hi, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do another tour and walkthrough in Patty's van. Patty has the Ram Promaster 2500, and we're turning it into her dream beach house. And the progress this week has really been great. Got a lot of these finishing corners um, completed, and happy to share the progress with you, and hopes that it will give you an idea of how you might want to build out your van, or things that you could um, maybe do easier. So I'm super excited to be, you know, kind of honing in on some of the craftsmanship skills, and all right, so I'm going to share that with you. If you're subscribed to the channel, I just want to say thank you. It really helps the channel out. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and want to hit that subscribe button, um, hit that notification bell, um, you, you'll you get notified of when I put new tour videos up. It really helps the channel. I really appreciate um for all of you subscribers. So let's do a tour. Let me walk you through all the things that I got and done. Um, I'm going to shut up. Let's see. One of the biggest things that I got done this week probably would be the shower base. I got that all installed and um, the lagoon table. This is just a template. The top is being made. I just wanted to make sure that this was the right size for what she needed. I actually left my computer out here overnight. My bad. So that's a lagoon table that swings out of the way. And, and then the shower base, this just lifts up. And then her shower is right there, and that's going to work out perfectly. For that occasional shower that you want to have in van life, that goes down. And then she's got an ottoman there, and the front seat's going to swivel, and she'll be able to prop her feet up and just be lazy. Swing that lagoon table back around in front of her. And very nice, very nice setup there. That table is nice out of the way for whenever you're you're driving and you want to pull over and hop back in the back and use the bathroom. And that's the second thing that I got done today this in this week's video is I got the toilet base done. And you can see there'll be another cushion on top of that this is going to be the bench seat that she'll be able to use for whenever she's um doing her work i don't have a handle on this yet and this is another temporary top but her slide out table so she'll have a bench here that slides out and she'll be able to eat on the table um she'll have more cooking space and be able to do her office work there so that pushes in nicely all right so let's take a look at the toilet and so you just put your finger in here lift that toilet lid up and her toilet nicely fits in there now, you'll notice that the handles are on in the front and in the back, and you've got to take that toilet out to dump it. So, I had to leave her enough room so that she could actually turn that sideways and lift it out of there. Nice little spot here for her cleaning supplies. And then in the back, that wasted space, that's where she'll be able to keep extra rows of toilet paper. So like how that uh turned out you can see the little notch out on the lid when i closed that these two little buttons here hit the lid so i wanted that bench a certain height so it wouldn't be too tall for patty and when i closed the lid this nice little 
um, see how that just really fits in there nicely. That was holding up just a little bit. So I notched that out and I really wasn't happy about it. But then I got to thinking when I close that lid, that toilet goes in that little slot and that's going to prevent this toilet from sliding around while Patty drives. So ultimately I thought, oh, well that worked out perfect. So so that is done not sure if i showed you in the last video but her little closet space here that's going to be her little pantry another little pantry area or keep towel closet or something in there so that'll be nice um Got a bunch of the plumbing done, the shower base installed, the ball pump installed, the water meter for her water tanks. Um, I actually ended up having to move that. And then since we're over here, this was the big project this week. I've gotten, you know, this nice little section done. And then the header above the door, that's always something that's really hard. And I've gotten that framed out real nicely. So she'll be able to put either pictures there or whole, hang a roll of paper towels there, whatever she wants. But it's, it's so much easier to have that nice um, finished then, I mean, these are just hard places to build out in a van. The other thing that you could do is you could cut little notches in there. You'll see when I, uh, I'm going to share how I built that out. There's little sections. You could put a, a small area big enough for your hand and you could put like, I don't know, doggy treats in there, a little bag of doggy treats or toys, um, all your trash bags your little walmart bags or so you could utilize that space it just wasn't enough space for me i like the nice clean finish look i think patty will too we've kind of got similar taste um i did take the bench seat out again that was just for transport that is for sale if anybody is looking for a bench seat i'm looking for one to to trade so i can get the uh single seat in there so all right and then what else did we get done uh wired the dc outlet her tv is going to go right here on this wall so we got the tv ordered all the solar panels ordered the wiring over here these two wires hanging down here those are going to be her reading lamps so let's take a look at the plumbing in the back all right so what i did was i got her a fill for the water hose and then this one is just a gravity. So these are actually kind of tight on there. Um, I can't do it while I'm holding the camera. And that you can just pour water in there. Um, the vent pipe is here. All right, you can see her water pump is here. Her accumulator is there. And up here, the that's the fill pipe air pipe and there's the gravity fill one this right here i really think i'm gonna have to put some kind of a shut off in there i may work on that today i've got an idea so i went ahead and bought a shut off valve but that just goes to show you that you know not every idea is the best first off the first out of the gate so got a strainer there so like how that turned out so all right so her gray tank is up and all the pipes this you can see that's the shower pipe and then the sink pipe comes down here so that was another nice project done this is that ball valve the wiring for the ball valve you know maybe i'll tack that up so um yeah lots of progress all right, so as you can see, we've got all kinds of progress done this week. I'm going to get started. Thank you for everybody that's been following along, and we'll see you guys on the next video.